Hello everyone. Today I am going to show you how to solve problems using the Lagrange's interpolation method. I hope you all know how to solve problems using the Newton's backward and forward interpolation methods. Now, the advantage of using Lagrange's interpolation method is that you can use this method for both equidistant intervals as well as for non-equidistant intervals. Now, I will show you an example with non-equidistant non intervals. Here I have made a table for x and y. Now I will fill up this gaps. Now, x0 is minus 1, x0 is minus 1, x1 is minus 2, x2 is 2 and x3 is 4. From this table I have filled up this and now for y, y0 is minus 1, y1 is minus 9, y2 is 11 and y3 is 69. Now this is the Newton's Lagrange's interpolation formula. The formula goes like this x minus x1. Here the value of x may be given or may not be given. That's depend, that depends completely over the question. We can solve two types of problems using the Lagrange's interpolation. You may be asked to find the polynomial fx depending on the values of x given or you may be asked to find out the value of fx for a given value of x. Like here I have given the value of x as 0. Now the formula goes like this x minus x1 here this x denotes 0. So x minus x1 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 whole divided by x0 minus x1 into x0 minus x2 into x0 minus x3 whole multiplied by y0 plus x minus x0 into x minus x2 into x minus x3 whole divided by x1 minus x0 into x1 minus x2 into x1 minus x3 whole multiplied by y1 plus x minus x0 into x minus x1 into x minus x3 whole divided by x2 minus x0 into x2 minus x1 into x2 minus x3 whole multiplied by y2 plus x minus x0 x minus x1 x minus x2 whole divided by x3 minus x0 x3 minus x1 x3 minus x2 whole multiplied by y3 now how I am getting this formula now this formula in this formula I have to take a pivot at each and every step in this formula I have 4 steps since the number of elements is 4 so first of all for this part I have taken x0 as the pivot so see in the numerator there is no x0 term similarly for the second part for this part I have taken x1 as the pivot see there is no x1 term in the numerator the same goes on for the next two steps now in this formula for each step the number of terms these terms the number of these terms depends on the number of elements given in the table for example here there are four elements so one I have taken as a pivot and remaining are three so there are three terms similarly if it was five terms five elements in the table we have taken one element as a pivot so there would be four terms in the numerator now in the question I have been asked to find the value of fx that is y at x equals to 0. Now I will put the values of x0, x1, x2 and x3, y0, y1, y2 and y3 and x in the formula. So now I get for the first term x minus x1, x minus x2, x minus x3 I get 0, 
plus 2 since it is minus 2 I have to write plus then multiplied by 0 minus 2 into 0 minus 4 divided by minus 1 plus 2 here minus 1 is x 0 x 0 minus x 1 similarly minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 minus 4 whole multiplied by minus 1 plus now I will take the second step it's 0 plus 1 0 minus 2 0 minus 4 whole divided by minus 2 plus 1 multiplied by minus 2 minus 2 and minus 2 minus 4 whole multiplied by minus 9 then 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 0 minus 4 whole divided by its 2 plus 1 2 plus 2 2 minus 4 from the formula whole multiplied by 11 plus the last step its 0 plus 1 0 plus 2 0 minus 2 by 4 plus 1 4 plus 2 4 minus 2 whole multiplied by 69 now I hope you all get it how I got the uh, terms since here is uh, the x1 term is minus 2 so I have written 0 plus 2 minus minus plus like that I have covered all the steps now from the first step I get its minus 16 by 30 from the second step I get 72 by 24 from the third step I get 88 by 24 and from the last step I get minus 276 by 48 now solving these fractional terms I get minus 8 by 15 plus 3 plus 11 by 3 minus 23 by 4 solving this the final answer that I get is 1.45 now this is the value of y at x equals to 0 so now you all guys I hope you understand how I did this problem thank you